Hey everyone and welcome back! Today we're gonna be looking at the future of the X-Men and how exactly some of the more prominent and powerful characters may change the shape of the Marvel Cinematic Universe going forward. So it doesn't look likely any of the mutants are going to debut within the next few movies, but Phase 5 may be when Marvel Studios decides to start introducing some of the properties acquired through Disney's acquisition of the 20th Century Fox. Number 10. Professor X So we're kicking off our list of powerful X-Men with the leader of the group himself, Professor X Charles Xavier is probably one of the most famous and recognizable of the mutants due to his portrayal by Sir Patrick Stewart in Fox's X-Men franchise. Charles Xavier is a telepath, meaning he can read people's minds and sometimes even control them. He can also watch over uh, every other mutants with the help of Cerebro, a device which amplifies the brainwaves of the user. Professor X's arrival will undoubtedly shake out the MCU. It's unsure how the Avengers will react to the news of mutants, but one thing can be guaranteed, Shaw will do everything in his power to ensure the safety of his students at X-Mansion. Number 9. Cyclops Scott Summers aka Cyclops has had a couple of iterations on screen already. However, the core of this character has never really made it into the films. Scott is a natural-born leader and he is dedicated to the protections and survival of mutants. Cyclops deserves his due. He is not defined by the power of his optic blasts, but rather his dedication to his kind. With most of the movie-going audience aware of who Cyclops is, having him feature as a prominent member of, or even as a leader of the MCU's first team makes a lot of sense. Number 8. Iceman Probably one of the most underrated heroes of all time, Bobby Drake, aka Iceman, deserves to have the full extent of his power shown on screen. Beyond the ability to manipulate ice, he is so powerful, he can even change the entire ecosystem of the whole planet, casting it into another Ice Age. A famous comic book arc sees the X-Men fight against the Avengers in a huge crossover event. Before the two factions actually become allies, it makes sense for them to go up against each other in the MCU. A battle like this could see Iceman take on a lot of the strongest Avengers and win. Number 7. Emma Frost With X-Men Dark Phoenix proving that the MCU would be wise to take a break from the character of Jean Grey, it's possible they could substitute in another powerful physic mutant to take her place for the time being. Emma Frost originally started off as a supervillain before turning and eventually going on to the lead of the X-Men. She has also had a romantic relationship with Scott Summers at Cat Cyclops. So, introducing the pair as a couple in their MCU debut would help integrate more characters. Emma Frost's loyalty has always been uneasy and having her as a potential double agent in the team could serve the purpose of fleshing out Cyclops' character before the inevitable arrival of Jean Grey. Number 6. Vulcan Another mutant who should go hand-in-hand -hand with Scott Summers in the MCU is his brother, Gabriel. Gabriel Summers is the Vulcan, another character who has flitted between being a hero and a villain. However, the most interesting thing about Vulcan is that he is a Nomega level mutant, a mutant who is so powerful that their abilities reach an indefinable limit. Vulcan can produce light, heat and electricity in the form of concussive blasts. He can also manipulate energy around him and he is known to have drained power from other mutants. Vulcan also has some huge cosmic links. One story sees him destroying the Shy Empire and croning himself their new king. With the MCU wanting to go cosmic, there are even options to introduce mutants in space before revealing their existence on Earth. Number 5. Storm Storm already has a possible entry into the MCU through the sequel of Black Panther. Storm and T'Challa have been married in the comics and setting her up as Queen of Wakanda will explicitly link her with the Avengers. Speaking of the Avengers, Storm has shown her power numerous times and could prove to be a worthy addition to the MCU. In the comics, she fought against Thor, the God of Thunder, and she has defeated Iron Man as well. Number 4. 
Wolverine. Although it will be difficult to forget Hugh Jackman's career-making performance as Wolverine, it's only a matter of time before the MCU casts their version. When that time does come, Marvel needs to be smart on how they incorporate the character. His impressive regenerative abilities and near immortality are obviously going to have an impact on the MCU, but it's his role as an anti-hero that might do good to differentiate him within the MCU huge cast of characters. Number 3. Magneto There are several reasons why Magneto's introduction to the MCU will have huge impact. As well as providing a villain specifically for the X-Men, Magneto has potential ties to characters already established with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Both Wanda and Pietro Maximoff, Aka, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, are the children of Magneto in the comics. Obviously, their origin stories have been changed for the film as Marvel didn't have the rights to mutants back in 2015. However, that doesn't mean Magneto still can't be their father. A reveal like that after establishing Magneto as a villain might have huge emotional consequences for himself and his survival child, Scarlet Witch. Number 2. Namor the Submariner It's often forgotten that Namor the Submariner, king of Marvel's version of Atlantis, is actually a mutant. Although he has been part of the X-Men team before, he's usually known for his loyalty only to his city and people. Namor has also been rumored to appear in the sequel of Black Panther. He is a fierce rival to T'Challa's and a war between Wakanda and Atlantis would open up a whole new side of the MCU. And number one, X-Man. The son of Scott Summers and Madeleine Pryor is probably far from making an appearance soon, but there is no doubt that Nate Summers would change the direction of the MCU forever. Another Omega-level mutant, Nate Summers is actually an alternate version of Cable, one created by Mr. Sinister. He is considered one of the best telepath and telekinetics ever seen, and he has even been considered a messiah by other mutants. With the multiverse set to play a big part in the upcoming Phase 4, it seems pretty clear that alternate realities are going to be common within the MCU future. Well, that's what we've come up with so far. It's certainly very, very exciting to imagine how the MCU is going to incorporate some of our favorite mutants and finally see them interact with our beloved Avengers. Let us know what other mutants you would like to see in the MCU. Please like and share our video and don't forget to check our page to at Fandom Wire if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon. Bye!